What's up, everybody? All right, so a lot of questions about playing really fast, which tremolo picking was something that I got into really, really early. Uh, actually, the reason was playing, uh, I, w I moved to Hawaii when I was like 18, and we were playing on the street for food money. So what we noticed was the faster that we played, the more money we got. So that's how I learned how to, how to do all the, like, the, really, the really fast stuff. Um, but one major key that I wanna uh, give you guys to, to really help that out is I want you guys to try palm muting to, to establish uh, the least amount of musculature needed to make this happen. That is the goal. We wanna cut down on all musculature that is unnecessary to make the picking happen. All right, so starting from up here, guys, if you're using your elbow at all, horrible. These muscles are way too big to have the control Right to just be able to play, you you're really cutting down on on your your range of motion. I mean, if you can see, I'll, I'll move up here just so you guys can see. But I'm really just going right below the string and right above, using just the tip of the pick. Watch if I go in a little bit more. Already, it starts to get a little choppy. So you want to use just barely the tip of the pick, barely. All right, I will show you one exercise. I love this exercise. I want you guys to try it actually before we get into the palm meeting part, but. For some of you, this is gonna be pretty difficult. If you guys take the, the you can put your finger somewhere. I, I usually have, uh, I'll usually do the top string, but if you guys play, what, roll the pick over the string and don't let it actually lift up. Just like that. I know it sounds crazy, it sounds absolutely crazy, but that is training, it, it, that's just muscle memory. You don't, that's an exercise that you won't have to think of later. You're just training your hand to only, to stay as close to the string as possible, and in this case, actually not ever letting up off the string. Um, so that's first. Let's get into the palm muting part, because I really like this. So you guys just take that part of your palm. What I usually do is I'll lay it right over this piece right here, and then just turn in a little bit, right? So it's like directly out, kind of like 90 degree angle, and then I'll just turn in, and that's usually a good palm muting start. Now. Top strings are a little bit thicker. Those are gonna be easier to tremolo pick, believe it or not, because the pick has less, um, less of a chance and more surface area to roll, less of a chance to get stuck, I'm sorry, like, like in the string, like real choppy, and more surface area to get a nice roll over it because the strings are thicker. So just start thing at the top, get a palm mute going, and what's happening here, I usually anchor with these two fingers too down here. What we're doing when we do this, we're anchoring here and palm muting here is we're cutting everything from here up out of the equation. You're not using any of those muscles, right? And what should happen is, what I want you guys to try, you guys can try bursts, right? If you go like this, kind of down up and see, right, like a triplet burst, one, two, three. Try four and then see where that number is where you start tightening up. Because you should, what, what's gonna happen is as you're doing those bursts, three, four, five, what, however many, what's gonna happen is when your bigger muscles jump in, it's gonna get hard, and you're gonna stop, and that, that speed's not gonna be there anymore. So, just find those bursts, and then eventually that what those bursts are just become completely, I could do this, especially really light like this, for hours. There's no reason I'm not using any over musculature. All right, it's super relaxed, barely playing. I want you guys to make that as light as possible. Palm muting and anchoring here that takes all of these muscles away. If you guys watch, if I do this, as soon as I pull my palm mute up and lift these fingers up, I'm screwed, absolutely screwed. So the, the the relaxation is the only thing that's going to work in this case. You're not going to be able to push through this, this kind of playing. You have to be incredibly relaxed. That's why all of this stuff, do this for absolutely ever without a problem because I'm relaxed. If I start pushing through, just like anything else, if you're like, I don't know, running sprints or something like that, you can't, um, you'll, you're just gonna get tired, right? Because you're pushing through that, right? You can't do that in this instance. You have to be nice and relaxed, right? And it honestly, it is that easy. The tough part is with everything that we've ever learned 
and doing using our hands, using our arms, whatever, it, we're, we're not used to, to using it at that much of a velocity with that little um, musculature, and that's where the problem actually is. So, do to try those exercises, let me know how it goes, and, uh, and I'm gonna pump out a couple more videos, all right? See you guys.